finally got a reason to make some more drill beats on the channel. Jay and Steppers have just released their new multi kit Imperium and Jay was even kind enough to recently send me a copy to cook up with. So in today's one I'm going to be cooking up a couple of drill beats with the Imperium multi kit. Just so I'd mention if you're interested in using any of the sounds in this video in your own production there'll be an affiliate link in the description that gives you a pretty good discount so feel free to check that out. So now I'm going to check out the kit. I'm not going to waste any time just combing through the sounds. Straight up, I'm just going to look for a sample to use in this beat. Of course, I'm going to set the BPM to roughly 140, and I'm just going to go straight to the sample pack. Bro, why are all of these so sinister? Okay, I mean, there's some ridiculous ones in here, to be honest. Alright, yeah, I'm using that one. I want this part to come in slightly earlier so that the 808 pattern is easier to program. So I'm just gonna drag that across. I think I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm gonna add some effects to it real quick. Pretty sure this is the point of the kit, but I don't actually have to do too much to that loop. I think I might just move on to the drums, to be honest. Jersey mini kit. I might have to mess around with this a bit later. Hmm. I might go with the certified hood classic. Alright, I'm looking to add a baseline now. Wait, there's like three different types of 808 in here. Oof. I think I found my new favorite 808. <laughs> I think all the percussion and stuff is done. I don't know why this 808 pattern looks so weird to me. When your 808 looks like Morse code, I feel like you've done something right. And I'm more than happy with that, so I'm gonna mix it down real quick and arrange the beat and see what it sounds like. All right, I think I finished mixing the beat. Not gonna be a particularly unique arrangement. I'm gonna keep it really simple. Sounds okay, but it's definitely missing some drum fills and stuff like that. So I'm gonna look around and see what I can find. Okay. like the most stereotypical drill beat I've ever made first of all. I think sometimes just having every sound you could possibly need in one place it just pays off so I want to see how I might use this kit to make other sub genres of drill so I'm gonna move on to a second one now. Alright so we're back in FL Studio. I think to start off the melody I'm gonna open up Keyscape and I'm gonna use my favorite Rhodes piano for this and I'm gonna try and come up with a very simple chord progression.
gonna try and humanize that a bit more because right now it's sounding so robotic. I think I'm just gonna copy the chords in and then quantize it. We'll see what that sounds like. Pretty subtle, so I'm gonna once again layer it with something else. All right, I think I'm getting somewhere. I'm gonna root all of those to a mixer track, add some effects, and then probably work on some background vocal elements as well. Go with that. I want something with more lyrics in it, and I'm probably going to pitch it down an octave as well. I think I just want it to sound really good, so before I add any drums or percussion or anything like that, I'm going to root all of these to a mixer track and mix them down real quick. I think I finally finished mixing down the melody. I did have to bounce a couple of things out because once again, my PC cannot even run Roblox. So, and I think with that, I'm more than happy to lay down some percussion. So. All right, I don't really like some of the hard hitting parts of this loop. So I'm going to start cutting some of them out. I think that's all I need to start off my pattern. So I've collected a couple of percussion samples from the kit and I want to see how well they translate to other subgenres. So. I think I've got a pretty basic pattern down. I want to add a couple more percussion loops just to fill it out a bit before I add the bass line. I think one more percussion loop should do it and I'll stop because otherwise I'm just going to be adding them all day. And this one sounds pretty cool, but it sounds way too aggressive. So I might just decrease the volume a little bit and then cut out some of these more aggressive elements. For a fact, there's a YouTube comment that taught me how to like paste the kicks in properly, but for whatever reason, I just can't get it to work, so I'm just gonna do it manually. All right, and I think with the kick, all the percussion is now done. So to wrap this up, I'm gonna mix it, arrange it, and see what the beat sounds like. All right, so far, I've just added a quick intro, a verse, and a hook, and I think that's all it needs. And also in the mixing process, I added some sort of house bass once again. I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. I feel like it's a bit aggressive, but I'll see how I feel when I listen to the final beat. Wavy.
surprised at just how well the percussion sounds in Imperium lend themselves to different subgenres of drill. It turns out you can pretty much use this kit in like any subgenre you can think of. Very generally speaking, there's something in there for everyone. In regards to the beat, I'm still not too sure about the house bass because I still feel like it's a bit aggressive. So I'll think on that before I put it to lease. So once again, thank you of course to Jay for sending over the kit for me to cook up with, even though some of your sample names are extremely suspect. And once again, if you're interested in using any of the sounds in this video in your own production, there will be an affiliate link in the description for you to check out. And hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. So let's listen to the final beat and see what I could do better for next time.